If you're like me, maybe you've seen a million ads for ClickUp in the last couple months, and I thought to myself, let me actually look into it, review it, find out if it's worth getting, and report back to you. I want to say this video is not sponsored, but I will leave a link down below to ClickUp so you can check it out for yourself. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. First of all, what is ClickUp? It is a project management app. ClickUp claims to do it all. It claims to do time tracking, project management, goal setting and project tracking, collaboration friendly, AI integrations, all of these things. So we're going to talk about all of that in this video. When you first open ClickUp, you're greeted with a modern, vibrant, highly customizable workplace. Depending on the tools that you're coming from, if you're coming from something like Trello, this might feel like a breath of fresh air. If you're coming from a tool like Monday.com, you might see a lot of similarities based on that software interface as well. But there's no denying that it does feel a little overwhelming when you first click in. There's just a lot happening. That said, once you pass the learning curve, navigating through tasks, projects, das dashboards becomes easier and easier. What I like is there's a lot of drag and drop functionality because it just feels a little bit more intuitive for me when I'm going through. It took a lot less time to learn just dragging and dropping and kind of figuring out I want this to go here and being able to do that. Uh, to me felt really seamless and really easy and it felt really intuitive with how I normally expect a project management software to work. All right, let's talk about the key features of ClickUp. The first is everything task management. This is the uh, bread and butter, I would say, the project management component of why ClickUp exists, the core of why any organization would get it, keeping track of projects, keeping track of deadlines, being able to work with other people and get those projects done on time. You can create dependencies, assign priorities, set due dates, and automate recurring tasks, features, and checklist builders are perfect for people who are juggling multiple projects, multiple clients, or even small business owners who just wanna manage their tasks and progress with their team. The second thing I wanted to look at was custom boards. If you are a big fan of Trello or you're very uh, into the simplistic version of just creating a board, um, ClickUp does that too. And this is perfect if you love boards, if you love Gantt charts, or if you prefer looking at timelines. ClickUp lets you choose how you want to visualize your workflow. This is huge for project managers because not every tool out there allows you to customize your views and your dashboards as simply as what ClickUp does. The third thing I looked at was time tracking. Mostly looking at it through the lens of a freelancer, if you're building out your workflow or your business based on how many hours you're working on a client project, this actually would be a pretty good tool for you. You don't have to jump between different views to just type in your hours. You don't have to jump from one screen to another screen or one project tool to another project tool to insert your hours worked. And what's cool is because it's all in one tool, you can actually export your hours worked to your clients or to whoever needs to see it to be able to say, here are the number of hours that I've worked and here's what projects those were working on. It just kind of makes everything function in one spot. The fifth feature that I was interesting at, interested in looking at was the collaboration function. How collaboratively can I work with other people on ClickUp software? Unsurprisingly, I think ClickUp does really well with project management collaboration, similar to, I would say, like a Monday.com. Monday.com to me is the premier when it comes to collaboration on project management tools. I think ClickUp does a really, really good job in relation to that as well. The last thing I wanted to look at was Click Apps or integrations with AI. There's other tools, I would say Monday.com is probably the premier example, where they have AI tools already built in that are the core of the tool itself. You can choose from about over 50 different click apps to tweak your workspace, whether it's adding custom fields, automating repetitive tasks, or just integrating tools like Slack and Zoom. There's plenty of things that you can play with here to make sure that your workflow is integrated into the tool. Overall, feature-wise, it is packed, packed, packed with features. The problem with that usually is you probably won't use all of the tools that they have available because you will forget about it because it doesn't align with your workflow. So depending on how familiar you are with project management, it could be something that's really helpful or it could be something that's a huge distraction. To me, it's a huge win, but it kind of depends on how much you like in your systems. Let's talk about performance and reliability. A tool can have all the features in the world. It can be super flashy and cool and graphically interesting. But if it's not reliable and it doesn't do what you need it to do, it's not really going to be worth you under, or it's not going to be worth you investing in. Performance wise, ClickUp has done a lot of investment in making sure that their tool works and making sure that it's reliable. If I would have made this video three years ago or two years ago, I probably wouldn't have said the same thing, but I think ClickUp has done a lot of really cool um, advancements and, and development on their tools to make it more marketable, first of all 
and to make it one of the premier competitors with something like a monday.com. And most of those updates has come from people constantly complaining about lag or load times. So I didn't experience any of that, but I think that's been a legacy issue for them. And I think they've, I think they've put a lot of money into improving that because my experience was I didn't experience any lag. Everything loaded really quickly. Um, and I was able to see all of my information, no problem. But from what I've seen on some of ClickUp's reviews is that it can be a little bit sluggish. The platform itself can be a little bit sluggish if you have a really heavy or a really dense um, calendar workflow project system set up. I just did a very simple test of having a project with a couple tasks, but if you're running an entire organization on this, um, but just keep aware that is some of the stuff that ClickUp historically has had uh, negative feedback on. Let's talk about pricing. What are the different tiers? So there's a free plan, which is really nice. I would argue that ClickUp's free plan is one of the best on the market. Um, you get unlimited tasks, time tracking, collaborative documents, and integrations. If you are a freelancer or you're a small business looking to scale, I think this tool is a perfect place for you to start on the free plan. And then once you grow, you can start paying or actually putting more money into growing your systems as you need. The next plan is the unlimited plan that starts at $5 per user per month. Um, there's no user limits. There's advanced reporting and guest features. This tier is, in my opinion, ideal for small businesses. Um, who want the upgrade without having to break the bank. And there's a business plan at $12 per user per month. This would be for something like project managers or teams of large enterprises um, who want next level capability like custom exporting, advanced automations, and priority customer support. Um, and that's a plan that fits a lot of people's needs. I think $12 a month is really comparable to other project management systems on the market. And so I think for the price that you're getting with the more people you add, obviously it becomes more expensive. But if you're looking for top-notch performance or you're looking for top-notch tiered pricing, I would say $12 per user per month is pretty in line with what other organizations are charging. And then they have an enterprise plan. If you're a large company and you're looking to get it for your whole organization, they do enterprise pricing as well. Okay, the final verdict, is ClickUp actually worth it? I look at it from a couple different layers. I think if you're a freelancer, if you're a small business, free, 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 100%. ClickUp, you cannot beat their free option. Um, I've reviewed a lot of project management systems and to me, this one feels like it would be really great for a freelancer or a small business who they need to track their time, they need to keep track of their projects, and they're looking to scale in the future, but they're not quite there. Free plan 100%. Should you pay for it? I think if you're a small business and you have a few team members who are project managers specifically, I think ClickUp would be my recommendation over a Trello or an Asana. But I would also look at Monday.com because I think Monday has a couple other features from an AI standpoint that would be more enticing for me as a small business owner, but I think ClickUp should be in the top two of what you're looking at. And if you're looking for other project management tools, if you're kind of evaluating and trying to feel, feel out what are the other options, check out this video that I made about three other project management softwares, Trello, Asana, and Monday.com. And with that, I will see you on the next one.